Well, I think that was a good experience for us. Uh, we had to initiate pretty much all of the, all of the intensity. However, uh, Fresno State and Sac State uh, play a pretty high level uh, for their teams. They, they really get after it. And it was good because uh, we had to play hard and focus the whole time and really execute. And that's kind of the level I'd like to get to right now. With the conference being so difficult, it's hard to know how to schedule in some situations. And, and this worked out pretty good. We got to play a lot of people. Uh, we got good intensity. We had some good performances. And we still can allow people to, to compete for positions right now. So uh, all of that's good. This week, however, we have to be good. And with opening the conference uh, on Friday, uh, we can't overlook uh, UC Irvine because they're a good team. They're well coached. They got seniors that play hard. Um, they've struggled a little bit to start with, but at home they can be golden. So um, I hope we're ready to play. I certainly have alerted our kids that they have to play as well as as possible Tuesday, and if we can do that, that should get us ready for Friday also. Do you think it's a benefit to play a match uh, three days before your Pac-10 conference opener? Yeah, I don't know, but you know. Uh, Having only one match in a week and waiting all week just to play that one match, uh, especially when it's a big match like the UCLA match, has been difficult for us to keep focused. And so we felt like we had enough talent now that we could schedule midweek and then finish on Friday night with the second match. And we should be okay, especially this early in the season. So we'll see. We're kind of experimenting. You know, We do some other things like go in on game days for certain conference matches. Uh, and not, not stay overnight the night before. And uh, we're still evaluating how that's working. But uh, we're trying to see what works best for the players. Usually they sleep in their own beds is the best deal as many nights as possible. This weekend at, at Fresno, uh, Fallon Fenoy Moana, uh, 32 kills in three matches, almost hitting 500 for the weekend. Are you starting to see her uh, mature at least at the college level? Yeah, I think she's getting comfortable. She's working into it. She's not there yet, but she's certainly made some improvements from the from the August training to now. Uh, she uh, she continues to get better. She had great uh, work ethic in the gym and good attitude, and been a great team player for us. And um, she and Kirby Burnham and uh, Alex Jupiter have held down that left side quite nicely. I haven't given Shaw a chance over there yet, but she's been pushing real hard on the right side. So. We have some real serious competition for positions, so um, I expect Fallon to continue to get better like this and, uh, and the others to be pushing real hard right behind her. All right, so tell us you're getting ready to wrap up non-conference schedule. Uh, how do you feel about your play, especially coming out after uh, Fresno? Um, you know, I'm really excited to get going, and um, I've heard so much about these amazing teams and how fun it is to play against them and the atmosphere and everything. And it's going to be really fun. Uh, preseason was really good. We came together as a team and conquered all of our preseason goals, I think. And um, I'm really excited to see how we do against uh, bigger teams. How have you seen your individual play over the last couple of weeks? Uh, it's getting better. I mean, it's hard with all the technique and stuff. But um, they keep telling me to keep going for it and keep trying hard. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm hoping to get better, hopefully, every day. And um,